Good morning, my name's uh, Phil Drake. I'm the editor of Montana Watchdog, which I guess Michael just told everybody. Um, but I do all want to thank you all for coming out today to this event. We hope it's the first of many. And uh, next time we won't do it on a holiday weekend, I guess, you know, so that we can hopefully get some more people here. The other week I was watching a rerun of the TV show Still Standing, which originally ran on CBS 2005 to 2009. The son tells his parents, I'm going up to my room to blog. And the father says, well, don't worry too much about it. I think you'll get over it. What a difference a few years makes. It seems that you can throw a stick these days and hit 10 bloggers. And although I must admit I was somewhat surprised the other day in a business supply store when I was talking about this event and the young worker asked me, what is a blog? Answers.com says a blog is short for weblog, which is an online journal or newsletter that is updated frequently and is posted on a website for people to read. It can literally be defined as a place on the internet where you can keep blogs or updates of your daily happenings. The term blog is an evolved term coined by a blogger, Peter Merholtz in 1999. And as of February 2001, there are over 156 million public blogs in existence. According to Wikipedia, citizen journalism, also known as public, participatory, democratic, guerrilla, or street journalism, is a concept of members of the public playing an active role in the process of collecting, reporting, analyzing, and disseminating news and information. The idea behind citizen journalism is that people without professional journalism training can use the tools of modern technology and the global distribution of the Internet to create, augment, or fact-check media on their own or in collaboration with others. They think that uh, Abraham Zabruder, who filmed the assassination of President John Kennedy with a home movie camera, is sometimes presented as the ancestor of all citizen journalists. I guess anybody who watched the last legislative session will probably know how important blogs have become. Just the different uh, opinions, uh, the different takes on all the same issues. Uh, you saw a lot of uh, blogs that took a, a liberal look at, at things. You saw a lot of people take a conservative look at things. And it was a pretty interesting, uh, made for a very much more interesting session, I thought. It's... I don't know how it was like two years ago, so I don't know if, if, if you folks are seeing it evolve or what. But we at Montana Watchdog, we are, watch, we are watching, we are reading the blogs, we are trying to keep up with what people are, are writing about. So we do appreciate everybody who is taking an active effort in the legislative session and in reporting the news. And as part of this uh, event, we are hoping to recruit some citizen journalists to help make our website even better. So if you are interested, please see Michael or I, or just email us at montanawatchdog.org. I'm Phil at montanawatchdog.org. Michael is Mike at montanawatchdog.org. Speaking of montanawatchdog.org, I need to introduce Carl Graham. He's the president of the Montana Policy Institute, and he serves as the pub publisher and founder of Montana Watchdog. Carl was born in Glasgow, Montana, graduated from Montana State University as a 20-year Navy veteran, where he amassed nearly 500 carrier landings and over 2,000 hours in an A6 intruder and F-14 Tomcat while serving as a naval flight officer. During his naval career, Carl earned a master's degree in national security affairs and served as special assistant and congressional liaison officer for the commander of the U.S. Strategic Command in Omaha, Nebraska. Carl retired from naval service in 2004. Since then, he's lived in, near Bozeman, where he's been an adjunct professor of aviation science and a flight instructor. So please welcome Carl Graham. <laughs> 